the the student base that we have right now or people those who are uh, looking to start their career what are some of the top key advice that you want to basically give give it to them uh, yeah. when they are starting their career absolutely you know this is my favorite part i think um, when i was starting my career in 2002 internet was not hot it services was the hottest area we were 40 plus people in computer science i think 35 were placed in it services company yeah and internet was a uh, step child in that environment so mm-hmm. yahoo was not the hot company it came very late it came like it was among the last few companies that came to campus yeah and uh, so if you have an option start your career in a sunrise industry so company industry which is things which are being built for the first time globally right so they, like web3 is a hot new industry so whatever you think is if you don't have any other way to judge it think about things which are being built for the first time globally so start in sunrise sector uh, work for winners that we have spoken about already so other yeah. thing that i see in lot of people is that they start working after one or two years they realize that they are not getting promoted so they shift yeah i tell people that instead of you shift when you don't think this company is the right place but don't shift because just because you are not able to grow i think it's very important to work with one or two managers identify give them time to identify your bottlenecks and help them fix it with you so your manager and your manager's manager has highest interest in making you grow so yeah. find one or two people and work with them and grow internally people who are able to grow internally can eventually get larger opportunities everywhere hmm. so don't just shift every 6 months one year and never get a chance to identify your bottlenecks and work on them Right. So that is one of the big things that I uh, I learned from a lot of people around me, and um, other thing maybe is leadership roles matter a lot. So mm-hmm. if you have an option of uh, managing a team of twenty people versus a higher paying salary where you are an IC or individual mm-hmm. contributor, take a leadership role. So the mm-hmm. higher you are in hierarchy, there is a good chance that you will learn a lot of software skills which are required outside technical skill for you to deliver. Got it. And uh, if you can deliver what business requires that will eventually put you in a place of winning in long run yeah 